Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Shai Kun Chick Chicken Chick Ten Man Chiki. in the Throne of Thunder. Yes, this fight is really actually quite interesting. It's just a big fuck off bird. It is a big fuck off bird, but there's a lot of other things as well. And for a start, look at the room. The, the room, room is, is amazing. Just ridiculous. Really, yeah. really cool. And there's lots of platforms. There's, there's some flying, extra action button in. What else do you want? Well, there's no vehicles. If Blizzard had vehicles on Heroic, then that's like everything yeah. in one fight, apart from like turtles. There's no turtles in this fight. That's a shame. Come on, Blizz, fix it. Anyway, for this encounter, you want to bring two tanks, two to three healers, and a mixed DPS makeup. It doesn't really matter what DPS you bring. And to start off, we're just going to talk about the boss's individual mechanics. Now, for tanks to worry about, the boss will cast something called Infected Talons. This is just a stacking dot that the bird will apply on you. There's not much you can do about it. Um, you'll be doing some tank swapping anyway, so your dot would drop during that time. And the other main ability you need to worry about is Talon Rake. Now this is like a large physical damage spell that applies a one minute debuff on you that increases the damage that you take from this ability by 50% and this stacks. Um, you don't really have time to taunt on one, so you have to taunt on two stacks. Um, otherwise you're gonna get some overlapping and it'll be horrible. When the second one does come in, you might wanna think about using cooldowns. Otherwise, it, yeah, it does hit very, very hard. Now the boss also has another ability called Quills. This does like large ticking damage for eight seconds. And when I mean large damage, it is a, lot, pretty high, a yeah. lot of damage. Um, the only thing you can really do about this is just heal it up. However, because it is physical damage, you could actually bop someone um, to reduce the damage. But otherwise, yeah, there's not much you can do. Just heal it. The boss will also do something called Downdraft. And this works very much like Lyshi's push away. It will literally just push you off the platform. Mm -hmm. um, and this lasts for eight seconds. Um, really, you don't want to get pushed off. If you do get pushed off and you fall all the way down, you'll slowly come back up. It works like um, Throne of the Four Winds. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Alakir. Alakir, all that kind of shit. It works the same way as that. Just don't get knocked off. It's bad. The best way of doing that is just making sure you're incredibly close to the boss because the, the, the pushback is faster than your run speed. If you're right in there, like, really close to the boss and start running as it comes in, you won't get pushed off the side. It's also important that tanks, you try and stay in melee range after this ends because if you're not and someone's closer than you, they're going to get slapped in the face mm. and probably killed. And this did happen a few times with us. The boss will also do an ability called Core. This sends out waves of like energy at two random players, and it deals high physical damage again to all players within eight yards of when it impacts, so you just need to make sure you avoid it. Now, apart from those lovely abilities that the boss does, there's a whole new kind of subgroup that you need to make that are going around and dealing with the bird nests that are around the room. It's so cool. Like, that is it's just, pretty it's interesting. It's so amazing, but... Around the whole room, there are a lot of nests. There's nests uh, they're called the lower nest, where you can jump off the platform into the nest. And if you look up as well, there are higher nests. And we'll cover the higher nests later. We're going to focus on the lower nests for now. And in these nests, there are lovely ads in the lovely nests, which is absolutely lovely, I suppose. Um, so, <laughs> the, uh, but the ads at the moment are in eggs, and they're just chilling out in their egg. And the only way that they become active is when the boss casts something called feed young what she'll do is just send out loads of globs of food it's like four globs of food and you'll also see a big red beacon on one at the at the beginning it's on lower platforms this red beacon this means that these globs of food are going down to those hatchlings down there to the eggs which have now evolved into hatchlings now, when the food hits the, the lower nest and you've got these hatchlings, they eat the food, which is strange, isn't it? That's, that's revolutionary, but they eat the food and then they turn into fledglings. Now, these lay eggs, because that's... <laughs> I'm talking... This is the life cycle here, isn't it? You've got these fledglings, they do some damage if you're on the platform with them, but the main thing they do is lay eggs. So, they, they lay mature eggs, and these eventually... Uh, hatch into something called juveniles. Now juveniles are the very worst thing for you because these go up onto the main platform and start casting um, on random players and then doing like 100k damage and they just spam it. And so if you've got like eight juveniles, you're just going to die like instantly because people are just going to get like globaled and stuff. So it's your job, your pest control now in this fight and you're going to go and take out those eggs so those birds can't blim and ruin my fight so what you do you need to make a group of one healer and two good aoe -E sort of cleavy dps like we use a hunter and a chamois um anything like that really because you, you need to be able to cleave like four ads sort of thing 
when you see that she does her first feed young and you see what platform it is you can jump off the side of the um, side of the main platform onto that smaller platform you won't die from fall damage like fall damage is just completely irrelevant in this room when you land there you'll see that the hatchlings are trying to munch on all the food what you need to do is kill them hopefully before they turn into fledglings and if they are fledglings just kill them before they lay eggs this is very very easy you shouldn't struggle in killing them before they lay eggs if they do lay eggs you can actually damage the eggs before they turn into juveniles um which is essential if they do manage to lay eggs now when a, a hatchling or a fledgling die they'll drop a feather now when you run over this feather you'll get a four stack buff and an extra action button when you click on this extra action button it will give you uh, flying the ability to fly for 10 seconds and it will consume a stack this allows you then after you cleared the nest you can then click on the extra action button go back up to the main platform and get ready to go to the next nest now a thing to note with um, when you do pick up the feathers every time you pick up a feather it'll get you back to the maximum stacks which is four however you can only pick up a feather every one minute so don't just spam it when you're on the platform for no reason because then you will if you go down to another platform and you've got the debuff on you where you can't pick up any more feathers then you aren't going to be able to get back up and you'll die from random stuff like when the boss is doing quills and things like that now a very interesting thing you can do with the, when 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 the boss casts feed young and you have the ability to fly and um, if you pop it just as the food is coming out of her mouth, the flying ability, and you know which direction it's going, you can actually intercept the food mid-air. This will hurt you somewhat, but what it will do, it will give you a 30% damage and healing buff um, for 30 seconds. Uh, but it, you can't get it for another 30 seconds. However, every time you get it, after every 30 seconds sort of thing, it will increase its potency by 10%. So the first time you get it, it's 30%, then 40%, then 50%, then 60%, all the way up to 200%. You won't get that far on normal, but it's something you want to know for heroic anyway, because I imagine it's going to be involved somehow. There's no other real reason to try and intercept these globs in mid-air. It just makes it so you do get a damage buff, because whether or not you catch one or three because you won't be able to catch all four because it's unlikely you're going to have four people who have flying and you and you can't catch them all at once you only ever catch one at one time um it means that one of the hatchlings are going to eat anyway so you're going to have to aoe just as fast as if you weren't she feeds quite a lot of her lower platforms which means that they spawn into eggs and then they t turn into birds and all that shit but then she starts doing the upper platforms now what's interesting about the upper platforms is that they are straight off juvenile eggs now the thing is with juvenile eggs is that when you do kill them um they don't drop feathers which is very very important so really going into this bit where she's going to start feeding the upper nest you need to have four stacks on your feathers and you fly up there and you just jump back down. Do not use your feathers on the way back down like I did. Um, that's bad. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, you'll end up dying later in the fight most likely. It's just not good. The idea is that you can kill this juvenile egg before it turns into a juvenile. And if it does turn into a juvenile, it's not all hope is lost. You can kill it while it is above the boss, um, just flying around. But it's ideal that you kill it before. Yeah, because you'd already be behind at that moment. And it's just DPS that you'd prefer to have on the boss. Now, when she does feed the young juvenile eggs up, up upstairs, they don't actually hit upstairs, bless her, bless her little heart. She's trying her best, but, but she's a terrible mother. <laughs> <laughs> but they land on the main platform, so you'll get three of these greeny goo. green goo horrible yeah. things now this they do do ticking damage to you and what's interesting is that you can actually absorb them if you stand in them for three seconds however it does increase the amount of damage that you would take by 10 percent permanently and this stacks as well for every time you do pick one up this is just helpful for things like move the move away because if the whole platform's covered in green crap then of course you don't want to be running through that green crap because while you like move away off there's quills and everything so on normal mode we didn't really need to absorb them but um if your dps isn't up to scratch you might need to start thinking about picking some of these up but otherwise to summarize what you need to do as this flying group of one healer and two good aoe cleavy dps is the first time that she does her feed young you jump down to that platform aoe the hatchlings get the feathers come back up then just try and intercept as much food as you possibly can as she throws it out to the um, to feed the other lower platforms and clear them up and come back up then as soon as she's going to do an upper one just make sure you do have four feathers and then just go to each one of the upper platforms kill the juvenile eggs and come back down you literally just go to nests the whole time you might have a couple of like, bits here and there where you can dps the boss but as the people in the nests you just go around and clear out the nests it's very very simple 
while everyone else on the main platform deals with all the previous abilities like the downdraft, the pushback that is, uh, quills, cores, all that kind of shit, and the tank swaps. It's a relatively simple fight, but it's probably one of my favourite ones. It's actually so really far. cool. I, I know, actually really like the it. The flying is fun as hell. It really, really is. Even though I died in a nest, I tried. But thanks for watching, guys. The, this guy did help you. Please do drop us a like. Helps us out a shit ton. Um, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.